dear students greetings of the day i hope you all are healthy safe and taking good care of your health as in last video lecture we discussed about the scope of service marketing in the course objective course outcomes and pedagogy which uh, i am going to use to uh, teach you the subject through this these video lectures in second lecture today we are going to understand what is service marketing all about so in this video lecture i am going to describe meaning of service scope of service sector what is service means meaning and definition of service then meaning and definitions of service marketing and finally we will look at characteristics of services so let's start now come to meaning of service as you all are very well aware about services are something which is intangible right which we cannot touch which we cannot see which we can feel only in fact we don't have possession of any service so if we talk about meaning of service so a service is something that the public needs such as transport communication facility hospitals or energy supplies which is provided in a planned and organized way by the government or an official body you can sometimes refer to an organization or private company as a particular service when it provides something for the public or acts on behalf of the government that we can also consider as a service now come to scope of service industry before going to detail of scope of service industry i would like to uh, tell you what what uh, constitute service or what constitute service industry so if we talk about service so uh, services fall into three broad categories the very first category is pure and stand alone services these services may be like physiotherapy counseling and consultancy the second category is combination of goods and service like restaurants or retailing where in restaurant what we get we get you know food so services are attached with the food right that we get into restaurant what we get in retailing the goods are available at the convenient location so what is service into it availability of required goods at the convenient location that is what service the third broad category of service is service as a component of goods in the total marketing mix like after sale service service and repair of home appliances and many more so these are the broader categories now we will look at scope of service industry so here are some of the popular sectors that are included within the service industry these are travel and tourism hospitality industry catering and restaurant industry it enabled services consultancy services transportation supply chain services laser banking retailing insurance healthcare and hospital management housing and construction industry communication entertainment and entertainment that industry financial services and so on so forth so uh, these are the various uh, examples of uh, service industry moving ahead now question arises what is service because first of all we will have to understand what is service 
so moving ahead if we talk about service so it is the part of the product or the full product for which the customer is willing to see value and pay for it it may be part of the product or it may be complete product service is an act or performance that one party can offer to another party that is essentially intangible you will have to uh, note it that is essentially intangible and does not result in any ownership of anything its production may or may not be tied to physical products this definition is proposed by philip kotler so by going through uh, this definition proposed by philip kotler we can come to the conclusion so what is service service is something which is intangible it does not result in any ownership means we don't have ownership of any service it may or may not be attached with the physical product there may be attachment of any physical product into the service or may not be any attachment with the physical product so there may be condition based on you know uh, the broader categories of uh, service that we already discussed now we will have to understand meaning and definition of service marketing but one thing i would like to tell you uh, service marketing is not at all defined anywhere what is defined everywhere services are defined what is service so many authors uh, and associations they they define only service not service marketing because marketing is already defined and you already gone through in your previous semesters about uh, marketing management now if we talk about meaning of service marketing so service marketing is a marketing based on relationship and value it may be used to market a service or a product with the increasing prominence of services in the global economy service marketing has become a subject that needs to be studied separately why it needs to be uh, studied separately because uh, the nature and the characteristics of service as uh, we have already seen that something which is intangible means which uh, is which which we cannot touch which we cannot see yes we can feel in fact we don't have possession of it right that is why uh, this service marketing concept need to be studied with separately and uh, here you are also going to you know have exposure of this particular subject separately marketing services is different from marketing goods because of the unique characteristics that we already discussed of service namely intangibility heterogeneity perishability and inseparability these are the various features that will discuss uh, later in most of countries services add more economic value than agriculture raw material and manufacturing combined in developed economies employment is dominated by service jobs and most new job growth comes from the service sector only if we talk about a contribution in uh, indian economy so service sector contribute uh, almost 65% in indian economy moving ahead definition of service marketing as i already told you that uh, there is no definition given for service marketing so only services are defined so here are uh, definitions of services only by american marketing association ama define uh, service like the activities benefits or satisfaction which are offered for sale are provided in connection with the sale of goods what they want to say they want to say the activities benefits or satisfaction that may be activity like already we discussed repair activity that is pure service benefit consultation may be a benefit right satisfaction 
after consultation the satisfaction which we get or the leisure facility uh, uh, leisure industry like hotel motel and so on so uh, the facility which we get there and the satisfaction which uh, we receive after consumption of such services which are offered for sale or provided in connection with the sale of goods that may be offered directly for sale or that may be uh, available with the sales of goods and the definition that we already covered by kotler a service is an activity or a benefit that one party can offer to another which is essentially intangible and does not result in the ownership of anything its production may or may not be tied up to a physical product that we already discuss so i'm not going to discuss again moving ahead now it is more important to understand characteristics of the services based on the definition based on the meaning which we already discussed in this video if we talk about characteristics of services so uh, it it uh, may be broadly classified into four so these are the various characteristics of services intangibility heterogeneity inseparability and perishability if we talk about intangibility so intangibility is a feature which means the service uh, means services are intangible in nature means which is not tangible we cannot touch we cannot uh, have possession of it we cannot see but we can feel it heterogeneity services are heterogeneous in nature means there is no standard service we cannot assure service production in each and every case or on day to day basis inseparability there is unique feature of service we cannot separate service production at one end and service consumption at another end because service production and consumption takes place simultaneously and the another feature or characteristics is associated with this inseparability as we cannot separate production and consumption right so services are perishable in nature means we cannot store service because the consumption of services takes place with the production only that is why it is perishable so i uh, will look at uh, detail in coming slides moving ahead come to the first one intangibility intangibility is a characteristic that we already discussed now I'll look at the detail part and we'll look at an example as well the most basic thing which differentiate characteristics of services intangibility because services are performance or action rather than objects which are cannot be seen felt tasted or touched in the same manner that you can sense tangible goods so that we already discussed intangible means we cannot touch we cannot see we can feel it right let us look at the example example is given related to a patient a patient gets treatment by the doctor the patient cannot see or touch the services although a patient may able to see or touch other components like equipments or hospital rooms and you know the physical facilities that exist there but they cannot see the service provided by doctor so this is what intangibility as a feature moving ahead heterogeneity is another feature so as we already uh, told you that heterogeneity means ensuring uh, similar service production all the time is not at all possible because of uh, service production involve human beings as human mind is considered as dynamic mind and yes obviously it is dynamic so dynamic uh, mind cannot be you know stick to one job at a time 
so there may be variation in service production that is why there is another characteristic of service that is heterogeneity because services are performance frequently produced consumed and often co-created by humans no two services will be precisely alike people may differ in their performance from day to day or even hour to hour because of the dynamic mind heterogeneity also result because no two customers are precisely alike each will have unique demands or experience the service in a unique way so these are the reasons now come to example sorry because services are often co produced and co created with customers as we are we are going to cover in next uh, characteristics that is inseparability where in we cannot uh, separate service uh, production and service uh, consumption at two different ends because it is co produced and co created with the customers so customer we have will also introduce variability and uncertainty is resulting in heterogeneity of the outcomes let's take example of a chef a chef cannot make food twice exactly taste alike because there will be some minor differences in taste now come to next characteristics that is inseparability inseparability is a feature which means we cannot separate the service production and service consumption because it is co-produced and co-created with customers whereas most goods are produced first then sold and consumed in case of physical goods but services are sold first and then produced and consumed simultaneously so there is reverse from goods goods are uh, first produced then sold while in case of services services are first sold then it is produced and consumed simultaneously so customers that are uh, present while the services are being produced and thus view and may even take part in the production process as co producers or co creators of services simultaneously also means that customers will will frequently interact with each other during the service production process and thus may affect each others expectation that is why uh, that may be heterogeneous as well or uh, services are heterogeneous for example an automobile can be manufactured in usa shipped to india sold uh, two months later and can be used over a period of years that we observe in case of physical goods but in case of uh, service uh, let's take example of restaurant restaurant services cannot be provided until they have been sold and dining experience is essentially produced and consumed at the same time by the customers so these are the inseparability means uh, example related to inseparability moving ahead the last feature or characteristics of service is perishability services are perishable in nature we cannot store it because it exhaust then and there when it is produced because it is consumed by the consumers so perishability refers to the fact that services cannot be saved stored resold or returned where there will be only one time consumption and production in contrast to goods that can be stored as inventory or resold another day or even returned if the customers is unhappy or dissatisfied a bad haircut could not be returned or cannot be resold to another customers because haircut is a service saloon provides service to their customers 
so that cannot be returned right or that cannot be resold to the another customers for example a seat in a aeroplane or in a restaurant an hour of lawyer's time or space in the shipping container cannot be reused or produced once sold services are cannot be reclaimed by customers so this is what perishability as a characteristics of service i hope you all understand now after going through with uh, the basics of uh, what is service what is the scope of service sector definition of uh, services then uh, understanding service marketing we can conclude in such a way the service marketing definitions is all about providing marketing to services and these characteristics these means four characteristics that we already discussed which make services different from product based on these characteristics there are many of the strategies tools and frameworks are being developed these will characteristics apply to all services which are very important to know for any service providers so this is for this video lecture thank you for patient listening and once again if you have any query related to this particular topic and or uh, this particular course you can write me a mail on this mail id that is mayankpandey.gn at the rate jagannath.org thank you and happy reading